just like some big movie, life is full of twists and turns. <laughs> this is my office. Tight schedules and even tighter deadlines. Hi, Mr. Suggs. I'm oh, so sorry, Mr. Call. I'll have these reports on your desk by this evening. That's me, Vanessa. Late for work and trying to keep it together all on my own. See, we try so hard to keep up appearances that we're never quite prepared when something new bumps into our lives. Oh, oh my bad. No. My report. Here, let me help with that. It was like love at first sight. Um, I'm Oscar. Oscar Jones. Oh, Vanessa, I don't, I don't see you around the office quite often. I, I work in the mailroom. Um, we're in our own little hole, you know, sorting packages and uh, you know, <laughs> opening letters. Oh. Well, I'm on the fifth floor, you know, you can always send me a message sometime. What? <laughs> <sighs> I am not a good flirt. But there was something different about Oscar. He was a little goofy for sure. I mean, really goofy. But he was sweet. I figured I'd give him a chance. And can I get a little cheese on that? Yes, sir. I'll have it right out. Come on. A steak dinner for a first date? Oscar, I'm quite impressed. Well, you know what? I, I do like to impress, though. I gotta admit, I'm a little embarrassed. I don't really order steak all that much, so I never really know how to order it. Meanwhile, um, that's how my dad always gets it. Oh, okay. You and your father pretty close. Um, we we were, uh, we were, um, but he he passed away a couple months ago. Um, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's something that I need to get used to talking about. Um, my mother left when I was little and it was just me and my dad against the world. And once he passed away, it was like I really lost the foundation of my life. So it's, it hasn't been the same and it's been really hard. You know, I um, understand. You know, my mother, she, um, she passed away a couple years ago and she was my everything. After she was gone, it's like she left a void. Right? It's like all of a sudden you just feel so alone. You know, you don't have to be. So attentive, so passionate. No guy ever understood me like him before. He was the perfect boyfriend. We'd only been dating for a few weeks, but it seemed like so much longer, and I enjoyed every single moment. There is still so much to learn about Oscar, so much I didn't know about my male man of mystery. But I knew one thing for sure. I had one killer boyfriend. Smile on your face. You've been doing that a lot lately since that new boyfriend of yours came into the picture. <laughs> and speaking of pictures, did you see this portrait of those two on our desk? Oh. Things are getting a bit serious, huh? Wow. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, did Mailboy get it made for you? Ooh, he brought it to you, huh? I 
bet it says something like special delivery. <laughs> Perfect. Oscar, sweetie. <laughs> What is all of this? Well, Vanessa, it is our three-week anniversary, and you are on my mind, so I figured I'd stop by and get you a cup of coffee. Made just the way you like it. Black like your man. <laughs> wow, this is, this is so much, I mean. It's, it's too much, isn't it? No, no, I. Cause you know I do go overboard. No, 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 it's just, no one's ever done all of this for me okay. before. Oh no, it's not overboard at all. A little obsessive. Chris. Okay, okay, I'm going. <coughs> hey, 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 okay? It's just Chris, he's just an annoying little pest at work. None of that matters because I love all of this and you're the perfect little boyfriend and you make all of my problems go away, okay? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I do. Don't I? <laughs> and then I said, work team, I thought you said twerk team. <laughs> Woo! I'm here all week, boys. Oh my God, he's so funny. He's so funny. Chris! <laughs> oh, great. What are you doing back here? You embarrassed me in front of Vanessa. What? Oh, come on, short shorts. That was just a little jokey joke by the water cooler. You know, a little office humor. <laughs> Vanessa didn't seem to find it so humorous. In fact, every day you seem to be a problem for her. And as her boyfriend, it's my job to make sure those problems go away. Listen here, buddy. You think you're gonna walk in here and threaten me? I got a message for you. Yes. <clears throat> and like every message we get in the mail, <clears throat> It's my job to cut them open. This was my good shirt. Hey, uh... Now our stock's gonna go down. Oh. Did anybody get a two week notice? Did anybody get a two week notice? Excuse me. Oh my god. Chris is dead! <laughs> what happened? Someone murdered Chris. Make way, people. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my god. <laughs> Something like this. I don't know. Some sort of twisted monster. Someone got killed at your job? Yeah. Oscar was sweet enough to drive me home, but this whole thing still got me a little on edge. Yeah, Vanessa, if I was you, I'd be looking for a way to defend myself in case that killer popped up on me. You still got your dad's shotgun, right? I know he always kept it on that fireplace, just in case. That man stayed on high alert when it came to you. For sure. That's my girl. <sighs> Whatever, Marcus. Oh yeah, I guess I shouldn't talk like that with your boyfriend around. He might get the wrong idea. <sighs> oh please. Speaking of him, I gotta go. Love you. Okay, okay, love you too. Talk to you later. Hey, who's that my honey bunch of oats? Well, hello, my Hershey special dark. Mm. That was my old friend, Marcus. He was just calling to check up on me. Okay. Two seem pretty close. Yeah, well, we grew up together. He lives pretty close by, too. He's a movie critic, so he's gone all the time for premieres and stuff. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Is that a hint of jealousy that I detect? Come on. Oh, come on, my Peelsbury doughboy. <laughs> Me. Yes. Jealous. Yes. No. 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 <laughs> no way. But anyway, if you're feeling better, I 
gotta get back to the office, so. You're going back to the office already? I was hoping my mailman could give me, you know, another special delivery. Oh, well, you know you did order Ooh. expedited shipping. Uh. Would you two get a room? Hello, Miss Strode. Sorry to disturb you, we'll keep all of this inside. Good. And while you're at it, maybe you can try putting a little effort into this yard of yours. Those tulips look dreadful. Noted. She, um, she bothered you a lot? It's fine. I don't want to be rude. It's just sometimes I wish she just go away. Hmm. <sighs> Oh yeah, it's time to get to work. So is there anything you can tell me on the disappearance of Miss Strode? Nothing, I mean, the last time I saw her, we were talking right over there by her yard and yeah. then she's just gone for a whole week. I mean, I, I don't get it. She never goes anywhere and then I would, I don't know, I'd really hate for something to happen to her. Well, if anything turns up, we'll be sure to keep you posted. You have a good one there, ma'am. Oh, and by the way, tulips are growing nicely this year. Oh, thank you. That's my boyfriend's handiwork. He's got quite the green thumb. Guilty! <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, I don't feel safe. Hey, don't worry. Daddy's got you. You sure you're okay with everything? I mean, my flight back home leaves in a few hours. I can swing by. No, no, it's okay. We're meeting up later anyways. Oscar's been keeping me company ever since Miss Strode went missing. He even took off work for the past two weeks so he can stay by my side at all times. Wow, he's really coddling you, isn't he? Oh, please, it's not like that. Oh, come on. All that time he's been clinging to you. I mean, you're practically living together. I bet he even got your bathrobe on. This summer. <laughs> this movie's gonna slap. Oh, hey, Twinkie Binky, was that uh, Marcus? Again. I think we need some space. What? No, no, I'm not breaking up with you. It's just we've been together for so long, and you've been at my house, and I just need some breathing room. You, you, you can't do this to me. I, I carry this relationship. You know how much I sacrifice? Vanessa, please. Oscar, I'm sorry. I just need some space. What? You need to go. <laughs> no, 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 no. You will not do this to me. You will not! Do this to me. I'm the perfect boyfriend. I've done so much for you. I'm the hardest hustler in the game. Don't tell me you want a break because it's 2023 and I'm still a savage. Whatever I want, I get. Whatever I get, I want. So do not tell me we are on a break because I am not going anywhere and you are staying right here, right now. 
Where are you going? Away from you! I don't want to see you again! I don't want to talk to you again! Vanessa! What? Why are you screaming at me? Because I'm angry! You're angry? I'm angry! Because I love you. What? That's right. I love you, Vanessa. The thought of losing you just it drives me insane. Oscar, no one's ever said that to me before, but you were like a totally different person just now. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oscar, I just need some space. Okay? Okay. Just t take all you need. Okay. 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 Your relationship seems really unhealthy. I mean, dude is yelling at you in your front yard over something so basic. It's a little psychopathic. He's not psychopathic, okay? Oscar can just be a little anxious or insecure, like me. Vanessa, you have such a good heart that you are missing all the red flags. No, Marcus, you haven't been here, okay? So Oscar's been helping me, he's been taking care of all of my problems with all this craziness that's been going on. Yeah, let's talk about that. So first of all, there's Chris, that jerk at work that suddenly popped up dead. Yeah. And then there's Miss Strode, who, in all my 20 plus years of living in that neighborhood, has never left that house once, suddenly pops up missing. Mm-hmm. All right after they met your little honey bear. So what are you saying? Your boyfriend's a killer. What? No, don't be ridiculous. Marcus, why would you say something like that? Vanessa, I have seen plenty of lifetime murder mystery movies that play out like your life is right now. The perfect boyfriend comes in and sweeps you off your feet. Suddenly a series of strange and unexplained murders and disappearances of people all connected to you start going down. All signs of a crazy, overprotective, driven to murder boyfriend. Marcus, you're not making any sense. I should've saw it coming on the way here. This man's name is Oscar Jones, Vanessa. OJ, oh no, you're dead. Don't be ridiculous. With all these clothes flying around, I'm surprised the cops haven't figured it out yet. <sighs> Can't believe it's not butter. Vanessa, you are in danger. Oscar is a psycho. This man is probably walking us right now. No. There you go. Hey, Oscar. Hello, my little zebra cake. I was just wondering what you've been up to. Um, just grabbing a bite to eat, that's all. Is that all? Yes. I see. Well, I was just wondering. By the way, that is a beautiful purple top you're wearing. How did you? Or is that mauve? That's him right there, ain't it? There you go. Oscar? Oscar! Oh my goodness, he's walking over, he's walking over. You know what this looks like? You know what this looks like? He probably thinks we're on a date. He thinks you're cheating on him with me. I'm gonna die if I don't clear this up right now. Hey, bro, is that what it looks like? Oh! You're with him! No! Oh, so you like black guys now? What? This is Marcus, this is my old friend! Liar. Liar? Bro, I'm just her friend. You mean her lover. Oscar, no, this is Marcus. This is just my friend. That's it. Oh, it's the one y'all was on the phone with. The one you said just lives close by? I don't believe this. We're done. What? What, what the? No. Oscar! We're done! I'm gonna die tonight. Oscar? Oscar, wait! I keep telling you, Marcus is just my friend! I gotta trust you, Vanessa. You asked me for space, and all of a sudden you're out here with another man? You wanna talk about trust? You were spying on me, Oscar. You're violating my space. No! 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 I didn't mean to. It's just, when we're apart, I, I get so nervous. I don't want anything to happen to you, Vanessa. I, I don't want to lose you. I, I understand, Oscar, but we need boundaries, okay? Boundaries. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm so sorry, Vanessa. Maybe we could talk about these boundaries later on tonight at, uh, at your place. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. I'll see you tonight, but no earlier. Of course. Six o'clock? Six o'clock. is coming to your house tonight? Yeah, we're gonna talk through some things in our relationship and set some boundaries. Woman, you are crazy! <sighs> Whatever, Marcus. What's all that noise I hear? Look, I am checking every nook and cranny in my house for Oscar. That man thinks we're trying to hook up, remember? Oh, come on. No, you come on! Vanessa, there is a killer on the loose and our lives are actually in danger. This is some kind of Studio Suggs production. This is real life! He's not the killer. I guess you're gonna take that lot of the grave then. Vanessa, I'm just saying, it's a dark, stormy night, our lives are in danger, and I'm pretty sure I'm next to the chopping block. This is it. He caught my power! Oh please, it's probably just the storm. Are yours out? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna go check the <laughs> Oh, Marcus. I knew it. Who's the phone? Yes, sir. Marcus? Marcus? You laid your eyes on my Vanessa and chose to pursue. That is not something I can forgive. Look, bro, I promise ain't nothing going on. I like dark chocolate, bro. I don't think she's fine. You don't gotta threaten me. And then you have the audacity to call her anything but the caramel goddess that she is. Okay. So I am not here to threaten you. I'm here to kill you. Oscar, I heard your voice. What have you done to Marcus? 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 Marcus! What's good? Marcus? I thought you were dead. Ah, oh, no, so in the movies when the dude chokes you out, he always lets go when the other dude stops breathing, so I just held my breath, looked down, and he let go almost immediately. Still bruised, though. Thank God. Listen to me, Vanessa. No buts. Vanessa, you are mixed, and I know the white girl side of you wants to see if you talk to him, but you need to listen to the black girl side and run! Special delivery! You have a key? Always have. How did you get here so fast? Marcus is literally your next door neighbor. It's over, Vanessa. Oscar, listen to me. No, no, I'm done listening. <laughs> I, was, I was there for you. I gave you love, I gave you comfort, I gave you stability. I gave you everything you need! Oscar! Every, everything! And this is how you repay me. Infidelity! We bought it over our parents, remember? My dad? Your mom? <laughs> That's the funny part. She's not even dead. What? I only said that so we'd have something in common. You lied? Oscar, this isn't like you. Is not like me? <laughs> Vanessa, please. Everything about me that's got you cowering in fear right now has been here from the very beginning. My obsessiveness. <laughs> My passion. This is what makes me the perfect boyfriend. What's the matter? Life flashing before your eyes. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oscar, stop. I'll do it. Oh, don't give me that. Look at you. You could never stab me the same way you could never leave me. Because you're weak, vulnerable, an anxiety written worm. Just like how daddy left you. You want to stab me? Stab me! Say it! 
admit why I was so irresistible to you in the first place. Because I was scared. To be what? Alone. That's right. <laughs> and that's all you'll ever be. I wouldn't say that. Special delivery. Oh. Cops are on their way. Hey, it's over, all right? I don't want to look at that anymore. Mm-mm, I ain't looking away until the cops pull up. I've seen it on the movies. The moment we look away, the body disappears. Hey, listen to me. That's it. He's dead, okay? Look at me. This is real life, not some psycho killer movie. He's not just gonna... I'll see you in the sequel. Oh.